the protests that we have seen now for days have been demanding a review of police policies, especially use of force policies. The protests, as you've known, have drawn thousands of people statewide from cities as well as the suburbs. The people involved have been a cross-section of ethnicities and ages. We had a chance to Zoom with the state police superintendent, Doug Carter. This morning, the superintendent weighs in on the talk of diverting dollars from police. There's a call around the country, different quarters on this issue of defunding or dismantling. And different people have different um, thoughts on this. The, 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 it appears that the word defunding means instead of spending so much money on X, on just uh, outfitting officers with the stuff that they need, why don't we divert some of those dollars to some of the services on the very issues that the officers confront? Things like mental health, homelessness, domestic abuse, the social service programs, and that in many cases your officers uh, may not have the training in. There's a there's a there's a need uh, certainly a need for us to review review and evaluate our training curriculum and what we do and why and are we adjusting and adapting to time are we adjust, adjusting and adapting to societal shifts or changes are we using the best of technology uh, today that that we didn't have before are we using the our intelligence community relationships all of those pieces and parts make us whole so to to defund a police agency in 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 the challenges that we face today is a solution in search of a problem. Um, there's no doubt that money needs to be going to these communities that have no hope. I completely support that. But that's outside of my purview. My purview is protecting people, even at the great, a great sacrifice to ourselves. And that's what we'll continue to do. To disband a police agency, um, I, I, it seems to me, is political rhetoric. Uh, that will create nothing but havoc and chaos um, in communities that, has, that that maybe weren't before. So to think that we're going to leave a community, who are you going to call when you call 911? This number's been disconnected. I, I don't think so. I think that's ridiculous. So a couple of things this morning. Superintendent Carter is the chairman of the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy. And he says talks about improving training have been in the works for months now. Carter says he's not in favor of body cameras because he believes the current technology is not reliable enough. But he is in favor of dash cameras for all state police trooper vehicles. When you hear the term Black Lives Matter, what does that mean to you? They're right. They do matter. My entire conversation with the state's top cop will be posted on our website, theindychannel.com. It includes what he learned recently after meeting with troopers and what he believes every police chief, town marshal, and county sheriff should be doing right now. Meredith?